In this lesson, we'll explore V-Ray Next's new and improved hair shader, the V-Ray Hair Next material. This shader makes it easier than ever to create realistic looking hair by simulating the physical characteristics of hair using parameters like melanin to control its appearance. In this scene, we are going to take a look at all the possibilities that the new hair shader provides us with. To start, let's open up the material editor, right click, and from the menu, select materials, V-Ray, V-Ray Hair Next material. Now let's apply it to our hair and then start the IPR. As you can see, even with the default settings, we get an incredibly realistic looking result right out of the box. Now let's explore how we can fine tune the hair to our liking by selecting the hair material. We can easily change the color of the hair using the melanin parameter, which if I increase it a bit, you'll see makes the hair start to appear more dark brown. Lower values will give the hair a lighter color, and higher values will create a darker color. I'll leave it at 0.7 for now. Next, to bring even more realism to the shader, we can head to the randomization rollout below. Here, we can adjust the random melanin parameter, which will create a bit of diversity in the color of the hair. With it set to something like 0.3, you'll see that the hairs start to show more variation in the amount of melanin in each hair strand. Now, the second major color parameter here is the pheomelanin. This lets you introduce more redness into the hair. When the pheomelanin value is at zero, it does not affect the hair. But if we increase its value, we'll see the hair starts to shift gradually towards a more ginger color. Okay, I'm liking how that looks at around 0.6. Since the V-Ray Next Update 1 for 3DS Max, we have introduced a few more settings to the shader to help bring more realism to your hairstyles. Let's drag a render region above the upper third of the image and then head over to the glint and glitter section of the V-Ray Hair Next material. The glint and glitter controls make it possible to create physically accurate looking highlights in the hair. At the moment, the glint is set fairly low by default, which gives the hair a very subtle shiny effect. To get a better feel for it, let's increase the glint strength value to one. You'll see that the effect is quite clear as the colored highlights across the hair strands become much more pronounced. Okay, now let's draw another region of similar size in the lower third of the hair and see how the glitter parameter affects our render. First, I'll return the glint strength to zero so that we can see the glitter's contribution clearly, and then set the glitter strength to one. We'll see its effect appear as it creates more focused colorless highlights, which are randomly scattered along the strands. I'm liking how that looks. All right, now that we have covered how to achieve realistic and natural looking hair, let's move on to the hair dye color, which can be used to create a more flamboyant characteristic. I'm going to turn off the render region now, and then let's reduce the melanin and pheomelanin to zero. We're doing this to essentially bleach the hair, so that there isn't any pigmentation involved that might alter or conflict with the dye color we introduce. Let's also turn off the random melanin parameter, so that it doesn't affect the dye color either. Now we can test out some color variations. For a vibrant yet realistic color dye, a higher saturation and low color value will work nicely. Now we can try adjusting the dye's hue around to experiment with some different looks until you find something you like. I'll go through a few different examples here real quick so you can get a feel for the results. And, just like with the melanin parameter, you can head to the randomization section and randomize the dye color as well. I will set the random dye hue to 0.3 so that we can get a feel for how it affects the hair. As the render clears up, you'll see that it mixes in some different dye colors among the hair strands. Okay, now you've seen how using the new V-Ray Hair Next material, you can quickly generate realistic looking hair shaders right out of the box.